Hello friends, today we're going to check into this Nanoleaf Essentials Matter Smart Geo 10 light bulbs. Welcome to this new video. So before we start, I have to say that Nanoleaf sent me these smart bulbs to test them and show them on my channel, but as always I give you my honest opinion. So these smart bulbs are a great solution for everyone that wants to smart up their house without spending loads of money with these smart bulbs. It is just plug and play. You don't need a help, you just replace your existing dump light bulb and this light bulb connects to your home environment. So really handy, not that expensive and great in use. So you can see that they have 400 lumen with RGB CW color. So that means that is you can use any color you want, but also cool white and warm white. So that is really handy and suits every situation. They're dimmable from 1% up to 100% and they should last for 25,000 hours. So you can see the dimensions right here as well, the rated power. As they are matter compatible, you can use them with the Nanoleaf app, the Apple Home app, Google Home, Amazon Alexa and Samsung SmartThings. The communication protocol is thread and Bluetooth, so no hub is required. So the communication protocol is thread and Bluetooth, so no hub is required. Now let's see what's in the box. That should be really straightforward. You see the three bulbs. With all the certificates, the matter code. And again the specifications so we turn the existing spot out and we turn the new memory spot in now of course with the spot in place the matter code is quite hard to access but now we found something for that as well you have the stickers with memory you have the stickers with the matter code and there's also an ID and that same ID can be found right there on the light bulb. So you just have to recall which bulb goes with what code and then you can scan it easily with the sticker afterwards. And there you go, they're all in. To be able to add them to HomeKit, of course you first have to turn the light on this way the light bulbs receive their power so in terms of brightness they're 100 percent right now and they're really bright so that's great now we go to the nanoleaf app we go to my devices plus and here we can scan the first light bulb So it says that it found its thread network and it's adding the spot right now. I have to choose where it is. So this one is in the kitchen. And I finish. I have to update it. You can see that it's updating through Bluetooth and the three green bars show the connection. So now it's all done and it is trying to reconnect. And we can see Bluetooth connection and the three bars is how it is connected and now it is connected to Thread. Before connecting it to Apple Home, I will first add my other two spots and do also the update process. Now my third spot is added as well and you can see it connects directly to Thread. So now all the spots are added to my Nanoleaf application. Now we can add it to HomeKit as well. 
Now before adding them to HomeKit, you can see my HomePods are downloading new software, so I have to wait. So we could check into the Nanali application itself and see what options we have in the, for these light bulbs. So we go to the correct room. Here you can see my light spots, which are separate right now. And here I can play around with the colors. So let's say that I will put it to red. Here you can see when I slide around, hope you can see it like this. So the flare really shows the actual color. And I can use circadian lightning. So that means it will adjust its brightness according to the time of day. So I'll set this for the three spots in the same time. And there you go. So we have the colors. We have the settings as well for the circadian lighting. You can set scenes. Let's write date night. And you can see how it is breathing, sort of. Of course, those scenes work best when you use them on all the three spots in the same time. And here you can set your favorite scenes. Now to regroup the spots within the Nanoleaf application itself, you go to the three dots and you add a group and you simply select the devices that you want to add to your group. You have to give it a name. And there you go, they are grouped within the Nanoleaf application. Now with my HomePods updated, you can see my light bulbs are reconnecting All right now. Let's check it in here. I can add them to HomeKit. So yes, my HomePods are matter compatible. Connect. Add to Home. Also they're in the kitchen. Give them the name, I'll give the same name. And there you go. And I'll do the same for the other two. Now we go to the home application. And here I can see that my three spots are added and I can control them as well, of course. Now I want to group them with other devices. So here let's group these three. Give the Group name. And here I can control my three spots in the same time. I can change the logo as well, of course. Now, the thing that I noticed. When you go here, I have my circadian light. But somehow when I go to my home application, you will see that I do not have the circadian light. That's very odd. I'm not really sure why this is. So you can see my spots. I do not really have the option add circadian light neither 
as for instance when you see here I have my circadian light if I go to another nano leaf lamp that I have you can see that I also have my circadian light but somehow it doesn't show in the spot now to avoid that people switch off the power of my light bulbs I use some little transparent tape I can control them with Siri but I also use this Akara wireless rocker switch so I will add an automation where I press twice on this button to activate my spots a long press will turn all the lights in the kitchen off so let's do this right now so you can see both lights are off my hanging lamp and my spots are off I press once and my hanging lamp is going on I press twice and my spots are turning on and I long press and both lights are going off now my conclusion of this Nanoleaf Essential light bulbs it is a little bit fiddly to set them up of course it is just plug and play they work instantly within the application you can update them correctly but afterwards it took some time for certain bulbs to get into the thread connection and to add them to HomeKit I had to reboot every HomePod in my house so be sure that you reboot every thread border router in your house or your HomePods or your Apple TV only afterwards you can add the light bulbs to HomeKit otherwise you get an error other strange thing as well is that you don't see the circadian light within the HomeKit application I'm not sure why that is maybe it's just a bug maybe it will be available later on with an update but for now it is only available within the Nanoleaf application this said the light is really nice the colors are great the light bulbs are responsive so they react almost straight away to on and off but also to color changes so for 20 euros only or 50 for the tree you will have your smart light bulbs and you don't need a hub if you would like to see how you can use these as a wake up light as well please check out my other video that i will post very soon let me know in the comments what you think about this video don't forget to like share and subscribe and I'll see you in the very next video bye bye